Hey friends, it's my lunch break at work. I'm taking a minute to share a little bit about a deck that I built for my mother-in-law. I, I knew I had to replace the deck on a, the house we got from my mother-in-law. So it was just in bad disrepair, a little house down in Red Springs, North Carolina. I've been looking, I knew I was gonna have to replace some rotted places and, and the deck was kind of falling apart. It was in very much, again, disrepair. Uh, and, uh, and, and I finally buckled down and said, okay, I'm gonna build this deck. I took it on myself to do it. I built a 16 by 16 deck. Uh, tried to make it you know, to really high standards of the deck that was there before. The, 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 the legs, it was, it, was, it was supported by four by fours. Um, that were treated, but they had uh, underneath each leg, it just had like one brick <laughs> that was holding it up. So the ground down there is sandy, but it's pretty solid. And so I, all I'm doing, I'm gonna share before and after and how I rebuilt her deck. And I'm doing this just out to put it out here for people that might be wanting to build a simple deck. And I, I got all my, all my materials through Lowe's Hardware down in Lumberton, North Carolina. So this is a shout out to the guys down at uh, Lowe's Hardware and Lumberton, they were great too. So just watch this. If you got any questions about how I did it, uh, yeah, it's not the most artistic and beautiful deck in the world, but it, it, it's functional, it works really great. It is detached from her house, so we didn't have to like, go through, get a whole lot of permits and things to do it. It's a detached, separate deck. So watch this, enjoy, and if you got any questions or anything, I also try to uh, refer you to the, some of the videos that I watch to help me think out how I wanted to build uh, my mother-in-law's deck. So here we go. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like. This is my mother-in-law's deck that I've been working on. Uh, got to replace a door over there for it. It had an old deck that was in very bad disrepair. So I'm just showing kind of what I've done here. This is just stuff you can buy at Lowe's. This is a railing and all. I built it out of two by tens, uh, six by sixes on the corners. <clears throat> That's not great concrete work, but it's you see, I put these on cement blocks, these posts, and I'm gonna pull earth up around that. And you want to see the concrete when it's finished. But doubled two by tens. I did carve out some uh, a chunk of this here on the two by t uh, on the two by sixes, so that you could uh, rest these on top of them. So they're partially rested there on top of that, and. Doubled the whole exterior. Two by tens treated. Put a post down the middle down there. It has three supports on it. You can see this middle. Jacks, you can get those at Lowe's for about 30 bucks. And uh, we're gonna have to do some repainting there. It's just discolorated, discolorated, discolored where the old deck used to be. That piece of red wood over there. Uh, it's underneath the plate. I have to pull it out. That was just there so I could set the joists on it. So I could get the uh, joist plates. Use these joist plates here to uh, hang all the joists. And use big long screws there. With my impact driver, I bought one of those DeWalt impact drivers that I kind of talked with a guy from DeWalt. I actually bought a bunch of DeWalt stuff. Right there's the impact driver. Boy, that is a rock and rolling little machine. I have to say, that's the best, one of the best tools I've ever bought. I bought it in a kit that came with this and I've been pre-drilling some holes with the drill. But the drill and the impact driver don't behave the same at all. Impact driver's way just totally bad when it comes to like driving big old screws like those that are holding these posts up. Can't see, they've also got some GRK multiple other screws in there too just to double reinforce everything. I don't, this is not my favorite kind of stuff to, to put up for railing, but you know, Nikki's mom likes it and Nikki likes it, so hey. I'm not gonna fuss about these bricks. To the space, the height of these things, and it actually came out to where it was about the right height. You can see there. So the bricks are that's just there. I'm just, just finished enough of this up. I was gonna show you the framing of it. There's Nikki. And getting ready to put the decking down, which is composite decking that I've bought. But that is the construction of everything. Also, maybe send you some information or some links to some videos I watched to kind of help me get this right in my head about the construction and everything, what I wanted to do. This is 16 foot span. It's actually the span is 15 seven. Uh, the whole deck is um, 15 10 by 15 10, and that's so I could have one inch either side of the 16 foot pieces of of a. Uh, 
composite that I'm going to put down. And I'll show you that here shortly. I mean, it's probably going to take me several hours to put all the decking down. The hole over here, we bought a, uh, a uh, set of steps that were pre-made with a landing on it. And it should be 55 and an eighth of an inch, the guy said. So I made it 56 inches wide, my hole there. And it should sit really nicely in here and come out to this. And I'll show you a finished uh, view of what that looks like. But there you can see my sort of construction. It seems to be very, very rock solid. So here the deck is pretty much done. I still haven't underpinned it yet. I'm gonna have to come back another time and do that. Maybe next couple weeks. But it looks pretty nice. But there you go, that's the deck for my mother-in-law's little house. We just finished this morning, had the steps delivered. Finished putting the screws down onto all the decking and everything, and there you go. It was work in the heat of Eastern North Carolina.